Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see what is Ansible on Azure and we'll configure Ansible using Azure Cloud Shell. So as we all know, Ansible is an open source product that automates cloud provisioning, configuration management and application deployments. Using Ansible, we can provision virtual machines, containers and network and complete cloud infrastructure. Also, Ansible allows us to automate the deployment and configuration of resources in the environment. We can configure the environment and we should need Azure subscription. If you don't have an Azure subscription, you can create a free account before we begin. And to configure the Azure Cloud Shell, we can uh, do it via Azure Cloud Shell. And we can launch Azure Cloud Shell within the Azure portal and also use bash shell version and powershell to configure the ansible so if let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there i am logging on to the portal there you go i'm in my default directory i will launch the cloud shell from here let it will take few seconds for the initial configuration. Uh, let me maximize it. Let me do this. Do this. I will click on show advanced settings. Pay as you go east US. Create new test asser RSG. Create new test Azure storage, test Azure file share, create storage. So in the backend, it will create the storage account under the resource group test Azure RSG, which I have mentioned, and it will create a file share test Azure file share. It will take few, it will take some time for this configuration. I'm going to pause the video and come back. Now we see the message requesting a cloud shell. Connecting terminal. And you see, now we'll have to see automatic credential configuration. So if I do AZ, give me a minute. AZ account list. You see, I'm the I'm logged in with this account. All right, all right. So what I did was I, if you would write code to this, you will see I have created the create underscore rg dot yaml file. In this file, I'm specifying these variables. We'll go through the steps and the variables that we define in the file, wherein I am specifying the host as local host, and I'm specifying the connection. Then the task would be to create a resource group. And these are the variables that I will pass in the create when I'll run the Ansible playbook using the Ansible playbook command within the Azure Cloud Shell. Okay, so you can save this file as I did here. You can close the editor and you can run the command if I wait. Okay, so you can run this command. I will do West US. So I'm writing the command as Ansible playbook. I'm specifying the YAML file that I created. This is the extra variables that I mentioned in the YAML file. Now I am passing this as that the name of this should be as Ansible RSG and the location should be West US. So I'll hit enter. 
it's running the command it failed okay so this resource group already exist okay so i'll change the name asar ansible rsg2 and then i'll hit the enter again and now the command completed successfully and now if i go to home and i click on my resource groups and i filter see i have a serenceable rsg in the east us and sir and serenceable rsg 2 in the west us okay and now if you want to delete uh, this resource group you can create a new file i'll do code star and in here i'll create a new file right i have this create a new file from <laughs> open file so it is deleting the resource group with the name i will save this file or rename this file so i removed the create rg file and i am creating delete rg file i will save it i will close the editor and to delete this i will do ansible playbook delete rg dot yaml extra vars name is equal to uh, let's say i want to delete asar ansible rsg2 to it will delete it deleting resource group take some time all right delete it now i will delete as a ansible rsc also it'll also take some time all right so this is also deleted so this is how we start with using ansible i'll make few more videos and the next video we'll configure ansible on an azure vm i hope you liked this video if you have any further queries please mention them in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day